All right, I'm out doing a squirrel hunt right now. I'm just using one of my pellet guns. And what you want to look for is one, a group of oak trees, walnuts, uh, hickory nuts, any kind of tree with nuts, chestnuts. You probably won't find too many chestnuts. But uh, that's what you're looking for. And what you're listening for is the sound of either a squirrel chirping away or the sound of little shells falling, husks from the nuts because they'll clunk them off in the trees and they'll drop on the ground. Okay, I've been deer hunting a lot and you can just, you can hear them falling all around you. So, we're listening for that, looking for movement in the tree limbs. They'll be down on the ground here too. Listen for little rustles in the leaves, or look for leaves falling from the trees. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little scout here and see if we can't find some squirrels to to cook some squirrel up. Okay, right here we have a squirrel nest. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I know there's a squirrel in it because I can hear the nuts falling and there's one right there he's pretty young so I'm not interested in him so this tells me since there's a nest this is a good place to just sit and listen keep my eyes open See, they're dropping nuts all over here. So what I'm gonna do is just sit here and wait. I'm not interested in anything small like a baby. I'm gonna let him go. You have to have respect for these animals. And you wouldn't get any meat off him. So I'm gonna look for, for a bigger squirrel. I'm sure there's one here, because there's more than one squirrel around me right now. I can't see them all, but I know they're here. I'm going to kind of walk around this tree real quietly, see if I can't spot another one. Okay, there you have it. One shot with the pellet gun, okay? Now, as soon as I came up to this animal and shot it, I dispatched it as quickly as possible because I am not a fan of killing anything. I do not enjoy killing anything, but I'm not going to have someone kill my food for me. Alright, now all I'm using is a simple little air rifle. This is actually the least powerful of the two that I do have. I have one that shoots over a thousand feet per second. This one's probably around seven, eight hundred. But it is plenty to kill a squirrel. It's more difficult than using a shotgun. But it's efficient and economical. I don't have to pelt or anything with 500 pieces of lead. But as you can see, it worked just fine. But I just wanted to show you, you know, going out squirrel hunting, what to look for. Just look for them signs. You sit there and wait when you hear them. When you see one, wait a minute. Don't go chasing after them because they're faster than you and they will climb a tree and you won't be able to get to them. But just use a simple air rifle if you, ain't have, if you don't have money for a bunch of shotgun shells. It's cheap, simple. Just get yourself a scope. Real low powered is all you need. You don't need a high powered scope and you can get yourself some squirrel. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cook that squirrel up and I'm just gonna show you what my dad's always done in Michigan when he cooks squirrel. First thing you wanna do is take your squirrel and soak it in some salt water. Okay, you just Morton salt's all you need. Just take and fill this up with water. A uh, handful of salt's all you need. Stick it in the fridge for an hour. Okay, mine's been sitting in there overnight. It's been sitting in there all day. 
and then all night and that's fine too if you don't want to eat it right away but you can at least an hour and what that does is gets all the blood out of it you just want to remove all that blood and then you're gonna go ahead get some water on the boil I'm just gonna throw a couple pinches of meat tenderizer in there and you don't want to hard boil it you just want a soft boil so what you're gonna do is just have almost like a simmer right before a rolling boil and let this meat tenderize up okay once it gets to the point where it's almost falling off the bone then we're gonna go to the next step for cooking the squirrel okay you can add any desired seasoning you want to the water that's what I do I don't put the seasoning directly on the squirrel I'll just add it to the water so it cooks the flavor into the squirrel okay I quartered up the squirrel it's easier to fry that way and you just use your skillet or pan or whatever you got and you can uh, put a little oil in there and then you just simply fry it up after you tenderize this meat by simmering it in some water and quartering it up just makes it easier to flip the to flip and cook everything properly uh, if you keep it all together it's not as easy because you're gonna have areas that are way above the pan so yes I keep the heart that is the heart and the one who takes the life of the animal is the one who eats the heart so you can always keep the heart it's a good piece of meat anyways so keep that eat that once you fry this up it's ready to be eaten and once you're done with that serve it up but you can also if you're out in the wild you could cook it the same way if you had the right pots and pans with you or you could simply just cook it over the fire which works just fine just like you would any other animal over the fire so there you have it that's how I cook squirrel